Hey guys, Macy here, the Bright Side Girl, and today it's gonna be all about mermaids. So I'm doing this crazy thing that I like to call Mermaid Marathon. Really should be called Mermaid Readathon, but Mermaid Marathon just kind of like flows better off the tongue. I love mermaid stories. I recently moved to Southern California. Well, I guess it's been about two years, so not super recent. But pretty much as soon as I moved here, I became completely obsessed with the beach and seashells and sea glass and oceany things and mermaids. And there are just so many beautiful beaches here and we get sunshine all year long and I do a lot of my reading at the beach. So I read quite a few mermaid books over the last two years and this this summer I decided to just marathon it. I plan on reading as many mermaid books as possible in June and July. I may need a break with some contemporary or fantasy kind of in between there, I'm not sure. This technically mermaid is fantasy but you never know. But if any of you guys would like to join me, that would be so much fun. I'm gonna be talking about it on Instagram and I'll be talking about it a little bit on here as well on YouTube. But this video, I'm just gonna share my TBR mermaid books for Mermaid Marathon for June and then I'll do another one for July, unless of course by some crazy mishap, I like hate mermaid books by then, which I don't think it's going to happen. So, <laughs> um, mermaid books are kind of my thing. Um, I feel like I've gotten a good kind of hold on what I like. There are very few that I like absolutely hate, um, and I'll do a couple videos on that. But I'm going to share with you guys my TBR for June of these mermaid books. Okay? Sound good? All right, let's go. Okay, these are in no particular order per se. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Rogue Wave. This is the second book in the Waterfire Saga. I read Deep Blue last month. I kind of like jumped ahead of the ship. I don't know. I bought this one because it was so beautiful. It's a beautiful cover. <laughs> and um, I went ahead and read Deep Blue. I have very mixed feelings about Deep Blue that I might go into on a different video, perhaps after I've read the rest of the series. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about it right now, but <laughs> I liked it enough that I'm going to continue on with the series and I'm going to read Rogue Wave, the third book, which is Dark Tide. Also a beautiful cover, but get ready for it. The fourth book, which is Sea Spell. And this cover, I'm sorry, I love art, but what is this? Like, these are library books, so forgive me, I don't own them all. What's happening here? Like, I wish I had Deep Blue to show you guys because these covers, so beautiful with these lovely girls in these cool dresses, and I don't care if they're gonna get like all cool and BA with knives and stuff, but I don't understand. I was so confused by this cover that I thought that a different artist created it and they didn't. And then I thought maybe they just like redid the whole series and changed all the covers, but they didn't. So now I'm annoyed because if I love this series and I own it, I'm going to be torn on whether or not I want this on my shelf because it doesn't match the others and I have a thing about matching my books and I don't understand why this one looks so different and it looks cartoony and weird but anyway that's the series i'll be reading unless for some reason i absolutely can't stand um rogue wave then i will skip that but that's what i'm going to be reading first and then these are going to be kind of out of order next i have tides i'm not sure if you guys can see it with this library cover there's like this cool um seal i think and this lady mermaid and she's kind of like in the water this is oh i'm sorry these books um rogue wave and the Waterfire saga are by jennifer donnelly ties is by betsy cornwall again about a mermaid i don't really know much about it i like to go in not knowing much about it i think it's more fun i feel like the insides of books always have spoilers and i really don't like that okay so next up is undine and Breathe, both by, let me see here, someone Russin that I can't read because 
it's covered up by the library tag. Penny Russin. Um, I think there's only two. I read this one two years ago. I read Undine two years ago. I can't remember if it was actually about mermaids. I don't think that it was. I think maybe she was just like magical like powers with the ocean. But I'm going to count it and go for it. And I'm pretty sure I liked it. I read so many so fast that I can't even remember and I wasn't being good about my Goodreads so I don't have a review on it. But I didn't know there was a second one so I'm excited to read it and hopefully they're mermaids. I think that they might just be more like water or island land related but it's still summary so I'm gonna count it and <laughs> I'm gonna read these and remember what I think about it and then update my Goodreads. Okay then the last one I have, I'm gonna grab it, for my TBR I actually purchased um, in April and this is Tempest Rising and look at this cool girl with her tattoos and her mermaidness definitely about mermaids yay um, and this one starts out I already cheated because I bought it and I was so curious but I cheated and this one's by Tracy Debs and it has like a letter in the beginning and cool I don't know if you can see that cool handwriting from the girl's mom and it's about like her mom is a mermaid and how she left and this is just in the letter so this is not a spoiler um, and how she left her and how the call of the sea was like just as strong as the call of the family and one day when she turns of age she'll have to choose between the sea and the land and both will always be calling to her because she's half and half and <laughs> it sounds so cool <laughs> it sounds so cool so the only thing I don't like about mermaid books is that, you know, I'm okay with them like killing people, that's part of the fantasy, whatever, but I don't like all the shipwreck th things that happen and usually they bring down cruise ships because they have the most people in them and I love cruising a whole lot and it just kind of freaks me out. I know that mermaids aren't real, blah blah blah, but um, yeah, I don't really like reading about like cruise ships or like watching them, like Titanic and stuff because that's scary. And I try to keep, you know, positive things going on in my life besides these dark scary books that I read. <laughs> but these are the six books that I have TBR'd for June. I'm gonna have, um, I might, I will probably read more than this. I've, I think I'm already up to seven books in May. Um, it just depends on how quickly they read. Um, some of these aren't very long either. Um, I think a couple of them are only 200 pages. But stay tuned because I'm going to do a video on the mermaid books that I have already read over the past two years because I haven't seen very many videos with this subject matter. And some of the books that I read were absolutely phenomenal and no one's talking about them. And I'm not just saying that because I like mermaid books and mermaid books are my thing, but they're actually really good. One of the series is a series one of the series is whatever <laughs> that I'm gonna talk about is um, one of my favorite of all time like I've read it almost three times now in the past two years I purchased it and I paid more than five dollars which is really a big deal for me um, not very much more it was like 550 let's be honest but <laughs> I have them displayed um, I don't even have them on my bookshelf. I have them displayed in this cool little um, stand I have with like sea glass and my sea glass books and all kind of stuff like that. So I really, really, really like them and I'm going to talk about them. Um, and that way you guys will be all like prepped and ready to go for summer. I know a lot of people read contemporary in summer and I'll probably squeeze a couple, a couple of contemporary books in there. But I'm all about the mermaids right now and I feel like we all need a mermaid marathon like nothing is getting said about these fantastic mermaid books and they're really cool and especially when you read them down by the beach and the ocean is calling your name and the salt is just wafting into your nose and you got the sand in your toes and all that kind of cool stuff like a mermaid book is like the the most summary that you can get so I hope you guys enjoyed this video follow me on Instagram to kind of keep up with where I'm at and my opinions you can follow me on Goodreads as well I think I'm just under Macy on Goodreads M-A-C-I and I'm under the bright side girl on Instagram and um, almost all other social media as well but I will see you guys in the summer toes in the sand or fins in the ocean <laughs> okay bye